Frankenweenie. But didn't you know that there were two Frankenweenies, not only made by Tim, Tim Burton, well, directed by Tim Burton? Yeah, there were two. There was this one we're going to talk about, and one that was actually released, well, we're not going to talk about the 80s one, probably in the near future, maybe later on, but definitely not in this year's trick or treat a -thon. So, Frank Weenie was released October 5th, 2012, and it's basically Frankenstein, the movie, but with a young Victor Frankenstein and his dog Sparky. His dog gets into a car crash, and he decides to use the power of electricity that he learned from his substitute to bring back his dog, and it works. However, he keeps it away so people don't know about his secret. Of course, it leaks out, leading to shenanigans and creepy yet kind of cool monsters. So, this movie is very interesting as well. Among all the others I've talked about, including the final two, which I cannot wait, this one was interesting because it's one of these stop-motion films that actually looks incredible. And a very long time since stop-motion was black and white. As a matter of fact, since a movie's been black and white. There have been future movies that were in the black and white setting in the past, before, like after the days of black and white, but you never had a movie like this in the 2010s that's black and white. So it's incredible to actually see. And the designs are pretty nice, especially Igor looking like, well, Igor, a hunchback nonetheless. Then you got some of the... I'm going to say they're typically stereotypical of other classic known villains in horror, which I'm not going to go into, but definitely, I mean, a Gamera Godzilla reference, a Mummy reference, a Frankenstein reference, and a Dracula slash Vampire reference. How can I not go any further than that? The Sea Monkeys, you can kind of say, is like a, a slap with Gremlins or the Critters. But I do not know that, and I don't even know if there's any little critter movies in, like, the old-school, like, B-movie days of, uh, horror movies. Because I hadn't gotten around to them already. But I could tell you, I've gone around to this, and it was fantastic. Now, of course, again, this is Disney. We reviewed all of their classics. So, I've only got one more Disney franchise left, and I'm saving it for Halloween. But, this one is definitely a huge recommendation, but has not gotten a very big reputation as other ones, other stop-motion films like Paranorman, Corpse Bride, and even Coraline. But I think it needs to actually have that reputation. It's definitely a must-watch for your kids, and even for the family as well. I actually enjoyed this kind of a lot. I enjoy the scenery, I enjoy the, 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 the old-school style it has, I can't get enough of how awesome it looks. And for 2012, I was 12 years old when this came out. And I remember seeing this on the television screens, and they were awesome. This movie is great. So, yeah. Even if, though this is all for a science project, like who gets the biggest medal? I mean, who cares, right? But tomorrow, oh boy, another childhood memory again. And this time, I'm not going to Nickelodeon. I'm going to Cartoon Network. See you there. Victor, I need your help. I asked him first. My problem, Bigger. 